Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Frank Bassa from Canada, Silver Cobalt Works. How are you today, Frank? I'm wonderful, Tracy, and thanks for having me again. And of course we have silver, we have cobalt, technology metals, and you have just put out really what are significant drilling results in the last 24 hours. So let's start there. Yeah, it's just what we're doing here, and this is, uh, you know, people kind of surprised at some of the grades we got, you know, like they're about 30 to 70,000 grams per ton. But these are what we would call the classic cobalt silver grades. These are historical grades. And uh, we might, uh, now that we also found gold in it, we might actually lower the grade uh, because uh, uh, by lowering the grade, we'll actually increase our ounces. So we do have an inferred resource of about 7 million ounces at 250 gr ounces a ton. And uh, we might go to what was the last operational grade in the camp, which was between 12 to 26 ounces a ton. Uh, uh, also, a previous uh, news release we put out, we found gold. And it's the first time we found what we call native gold in the camp. I think we're the first ones who ever found native gold in a camp. So we're looking at doing a revised resource, more than likely be an order of magnitude change in the grade, but we're going to lower the grade and we'll incorporate the value of the gold. Okay, I, I'm going to get back to that in just a second because this news release uh, seemed like a, a major achievement based on my own personal experience, professional experience. I was reading uh, another story, of course, on Investor Intel. Uh, and from our, your last re uh, news release, uh, we wrote that the Robinson Zone project is 100% owned by the company in the 78 square kilometer Castle Silver Mine property in Ontario, and that previously your drilling had resulted in an expansion of the Robinson Zone mineralization by 500%, which we thought was pretty significant. So what does that mean to those old expansion numbers of 500% with the latest drilling results? Can you comment on that yet? Uh, <laughs> Actually, we didn't expect to find this where it was. Um, as previously indicated, uh, the rock is very hard and the drillers have a tendency of uh, what I'll call missing the target, but actually hitting something else. And this is not the first time. Uh, we're still looking at the numbers. We still don't know how much bigger we made it, but definitely we are expanding the zone. Also, uh, this gold that showed up, I know some of my investors are reaching out to me by text and email, and they're wondering why I'm you know, talking about the gold. Uh, the reality, the, the greatest value, when I was working for Agnico Eagle Mines in a cobalt camp, uh, the bar weight, it was about 3 to 5% gold. So the gold value in the silver bar was worth more than the silver in the bar. And uh, for a long time, we suspected it was located at the castle mine, and that's why we acquired the castle mine. So it's kind of very significant. Uh, it'll actually definitely change our resource numbers if we include this gold in it. And this gold seems to be coming in from another zone we found, uh, which is also within the area. So how big this thing will be, uh, we still have to have a closer look. We're still drilling. Uh, like I said, we only get about 18,000 meters. It's only a small program. It's about 50,000 meters. And actually, we're talking about increasing it. Uh, it also comes to a point whereby it might be cheaper to do a wrap than keep on drilling because drilling right now is about $200, uh, $200 a meter. So we're spending $10 million doing this program. And, uh, of course, we've raised the money to cover that program. But we might, uh, we'll have a look at it. We might increase the drill program or we might make a decision to proceed with the ramp. All right, so backing you up, for those, of the, for those of you out there going, native gold, sounds good, but what does it mean? Can you explain that to our audience? Well, uh, the camp itself was only known actually, actually mostly for cobalt, but it was only mined for silver. And for a very long time, uh, you know, even we were drilling underground at the castle mine, we kept on hitting gold on and off, on and off, and we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Um, so we have a better feeling where the gold is now, but it's a significant uh, significant thing that happened to us. I know people are looking at these high-grade uh, intercepts we, we hit, but we hit gold, which was um, uh, what I would call an extremely added value uh, to our resource. So it's quite significant, and the fact that we found visible gold, uh, I think nobody else has ever found it in the camp. So I think we might be up to something quite large, and uh, the silver with the gold, 
uh, will make this deposit quite significant. And I'm sure people out there are going, okay, this sounds like a very interesting story. They may be new, of course, to Canada's Silver Cobalt Works. So I have this quote that I uh, wrote down from Matt Halliday, who is your uh, president and COO. And he, uh, for those of you out there going, okay, Canada, Silver Cobalt Works, we hear silver, we hear cobalt, and now we're hearing gold, native gold, too. <laughs> um, he wrote, this is the first company to put a 43101 compliant in situ resource in the whole cobalt camp. And he says, we have a resource of 7.5 million ounces at over 8,000 grams per ton inferred. And then he went on to say to us in our last interview, when you compare to other places, when you compare Canada Silver Cobalt Works, of course, to other places in the world, we are 10 to 20 times higher in grade than most camps. Now, if you could just provide kind of an intro and, and explain what Matt was saying when he said that. We thought that was pretty interesting the last time and tried to draw audience members uh, to that particular quote in particular. Yeah, the thing is, like, like I said, we call this classic uh, silver grades, cobalt uh, silver grades. These are the normal grades that were actually in the camp when they first opened up. I think we're the first ones to hit something probably in decades in the camp. Uh, so for us, it was a major game changer. You know, it really affected our, our market cap, uh, really affected our stock price. Uh, we're still very early in the stage in our, in our drill program, as, like I mentioned, uh, but we still have a long way to go. So uh, when you look at other mining companies that are looking at, you know, three, three ounces a ton, maybe five ounces a ton, uh, it's very hard to find somebody in, in, in our area. And basically, you know, it's about 250 ounces a ton silver, just the silver. And we don't do uh, what we call equivalents. In other words, we don't take the cobalt and make it a gold, you know, a gold equivalent. Uh, so what we're really looking at here is uh, we're, we have a grade of about 250 ounces a ton in our inferred resource. It's just kind of unique, probably the highest grade resource that I'm aware of globally. And we don't put in, you know, uh, into our silver resource a cobalt equivalent that converts it to silver or the gold into silver. It's we're strictly purely silver at uh, 250 ounces a ton. Okay, so I don't know. Anybody who knows you, Frank, understands it's very hard to get a hold of you. You're always in the field. <laughs> we always have to talk to your IR professional, so we're really grateful to have an update from you. Congratulations on your news. And so what should shareholders and people who are interested, because your stock did move very aggressively yesterday on this news. Usually that doesn't even happen in our sector, so congratulations. What should we anticipate in this upcoming quarter? I think you'll get more uh, more drill results like this. Um, uh, we're going to have a closer look at the gold because gold will be critical to our, our, our resource and, and our development of our resource. And uh, we'll be probably making a decision uh, somewhere probably by the second quarter of next year, either expanding the drill program or going ahead with the ramp. Well, as always, Frank, it's a pleasure to see you and wishing you a wonderful 2021 to you and all the shareholders, of course, of Canada Silver Cobalt Works. Thank you, Frank. Well, thank you very much, Tracy, and have a wonderful day. Thanks.